Sri Lanka is facing its worst economic crisis since its independence. It now has a huge pile of public debt totaling $51 billion, which is 110% of its GDP. Its inflation, measured by an year-on-year -year change, increased by 29.8% in April. The country is plagued by power cuts, shortages of food and fuel, and even lack of medicines, which has brought the health system to the verge of collapse. Hi, I'm Neelakanta Bhanu Prakash, the world's fastest human calculator, and I'm going to be uncovering the economics of the Sri Lankan crisis. What is inflation and what's causing it? There's a huge disparity between the supply and the demand of commodities driven by abnormal inflation. People are standing in long queues just to receive cooking oil. What exactly is inflation? What causes it? Inflation reflects the broad rise of prices or the fall in the value of money. Inflation, primarily measured through the Consumer Price Index or the CPI, calculates the difference in the price of commodities and services, usually between two consecutive years. Commodities and services like food, medical care, education, electronics, among many others. As of April 2022, Sri Lanka's CPI stands at 29.8%, which means the price of essential commodities has risen by nearly 30% compared to April 2021. Inflation in the range of 2 to 6% is considered healthy, indicating prosperity in the economy. But Sri Lanka's alarming inflation levels have led to a major economic crisis. But how did Sri Lanka get into this plight? The roots of the crisis lie in economic mismanagement by successive governments that led to something called the twin deficit, a situation where a country's national expenditure exceeds its national income, effectively a country in loss. Its production of tradable goods and services is inadequate to match the demands of the economy. The current crisis was in fact accelerated by several factors. In 2019, deep tax cuts were introduced, which incurred massive losses in revenue to the government. The pandemic severely affected the income of the country's lucrative tourism industry. In 2021, the government banned all chemical fertilizers in an attempt to be sustainable. And this reduced the country's staple rice crop yield by 50%. The collective effect of these factors led to a failure in generating sufficient income to sustain the economy and ultimately causing inflation to go through the roof. So how exactly does inflation affect the people? Let's dive deeper. The very immediate effect of inflation is the reduction in people's purchasing power. What this means is that the prices of commodities exponentially increase without a proportionate raise in income. At the time of making this video, the price of a kilogram of fish was 1200 Sri Lankan rupee compared to 600 Sri Lankan rupee 20 days prior, which is a whopping 100% increase in price. If items keep becoming more expensive, people won't buy and even choose to ration essential purchases. When inflation continues to outpace wages, it erodes the spending power, which in turn devalues the currency of the country. Here's the reason why. Inflation can be equated with a decrease in money's buying power. For instance, if a gallon of gasoline costs 100 Sri Lankan rupee to import, with high inflation, the same money can only afford a lesser quantity of gasoline. As a result, countries experiencing high inflation tend to also see their currencies weaken relative to other currencies. What can people do during inflation? Although inflation is a macroeconomic problem dealt by shaping robust fiscal policies, the citizens of a country can still contribute to mitigate the effects of inflation. Budgeting. A few simple cost-cutting measures can help counteract rising prices. Cutting down on unwanted expenses and purchases can reduce the pressure on the supply chain. 2. Pay off existing variable debt. Paying off debt, especially variable debt like credit card dues and personal loans, should now come second to living expenses and well ahead of investing. With inflation on the rise, people should be conservative in investing in riskier opportunities. It is advisable to adopt some tried and true practices for protecting wealth and creating an emergency fund before putting your money into the market.